Oh, happy holidays. It's Eugene Edwards here with Fender Play Live. And we are coming live from Los Angeles as always. And we have a very special holiday show for you. We have some tremendous talents, amazing performances. They're so eager they jumped in early. You heard them. Uh, we're also giving away some gear. So uh, grab your guitar, get some hot cocoa, get cozy, and let's begin. Helping me out today with the Fender Fala Laws is Dr. Molly Miller and our friend, our newcomer, Emily Elbert. Say hello, gals. Mm. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And joining us as well as our friendly Fender community elf, Dr. Dylan Kalajuri. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning to those of you in Singapore. Oh, uh, yeah. Or, yeah, probably. you're right. We do yeah. have viewers from all over the world. Right. So that, that's yeah. possible. It's very possible. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, uh, joining us is Dr. Molly Miller. She's a guitar, and most of you are familiar by now. She's a guitarist who plays with artists like Jason Mraz and Black Eyed Peas, among others. She's the chair of the guitar department at Los Angeles College of Music, and I think we can all agree is one of our favorite FPL guests. Mm. Ah, yeah, That's absolutely. My heart. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> and and em Emily Elbert is a guitarist, vocalist, and songwriter who has played with Jason Collier, Leon Bridges, Lord, that's a heck of a list, yeah. and many others, in addition to her own solo work. And um, we're really, really happy to have her here for the first time. She's a tremendous singer. I can't wait for you guys to hear her sing. Um, and uh, before we jump in, let's talk about the gear that you two are playing. Uh, what can you tell us about those guitars? What do you have? Um, I'm rocking the, uh, the Tosh Sultana signature model that uh, just... We just got uh, here yesterday, and it's pretty sweet. Yeah. With the matching wool cap, did you plan that? You know, I did. Yeah, ah. I did. Nature. <laughs> Nature <laughs> finds a way. You know? And Molly, what do you have? I got a Her Strat. And, oh. uh, yeah, it feels real nice, and, and it's pretty, too, so I'm not mad yeah. at it. And, and, no, and, it is and, you, and you shouldn't be. I love, the, I love the finish on that thing. I always make a Silver Surfer reference for any of the... the uh, uh, comic book folks out there. I don't know. It's natural, right, Dylan? The shoe fits. The shoe fits. Exactly. All right. Well, before we get into the show and the performances, I want to take this moment to thank the thank you, the viewers. Uh, you uh, soldiered on to another unique year. We went from uh, a living room uh, to to the studio here, the Johnny Marr room. Notice no no more bugs. And uh, and also we uh, so we want to reward you, and we couldn't do this without you. So we want to reward you with a little holiday special, kind of a laid back show. You just get to kick back, hear some great performances. Uh, it's one of that that last day before winter break, you know, back in school. So uh, let's, let's and now if you have any questions, you know what to do. Drop them in the comments. Uh, and every song you hear tonight, you can learn on Fender Play. Well, the exception of one, but for the most part, you can learn them all on Fender Play. But I'll point them out to you. So let's get to it. Let's start with a classic written by Irving Berlin. Let's hear White Christmas, ladies. <laughs> Thank you. 
the lights I used to know With the treetops glistening Children listen to hear Sleigh bells in the snow Yes. 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 Beautifully yes. done. Beautifully yep, done, do. ladies. Yeah. Dylan, what do you think? I uh, I am mesmerized and <laughs> pretty swinging. Pretty swinging. I thought How it was did fantastic. You got, now, so uh, you know, it's funny. Uh, earlier today, I was at a store and I heard uh, Clyde McFadder and the Drifters version of White Christmas. Oh my God, it's so uh, good. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing that whole movie. So, how did you guys? Yeah, exactly. Oh. Exactly. That's it. Yeah, you're right. Um, how did you guys come up with your arrangement? <laughs> well, well, Molly had a, a like a chord melody instrumental yeah. thing. We just kind of ripped off of that. Yeah, I got so you. Started from that, and then we're like, well, let's start there. And then we're tr we're trying to have our songs like start and end a little differently because with these Christmas songs, as you know, it's like you can kind of go any which way. It's like, are we gonna do this with Vasa? Is it gonna be backbeat or swing or whatever? So. We'll, we're trying to mix it up with these very beautiful Christmas and holiday songs. Yeah. yeah, these melodies are so good. And these songs are so adaptable. We'll be talking about that in a minute. We already have questions. We already have Merck oh, Harris wow. on YouTube is asking, what's on their Christmas list? Emily, you go first. <laughs> um, <coughs> I know the Strat's pretty dope. Um, <laughs> <laughs> good yeah. call. How yeah, about you, Molly? Oh, I'm sorry. No. My Christmas list? Um, you know... What do I, I want to, I'm a simple, a simple lady. I like nice guitars. Man. I like nice clothing. No, I, I probably am going to take myself shopping actually on Friday for my own oh, good Christmas gifts. You could just keep rocking yeah. the Christmas sweater. I'm into that. Yeah. Yeah. You're pretty much set for the season in that. I don't really uh, have anything big to be honest. I should, I should sort out. I don't know. I bought things on Black Friday and I was like, heck yeah. And you're done. <laughs> Yeah, there you yeah. go. Trying to avoid the traffic too. And Jason is asking, did Eugene say what he's playing? No, he, uh, no, he didn't. Mm, but wow. I am playing. It's a Paramount acoustic. It's a mm. Paramount with the single cutaway. So thank you very much for asking there, Jason. Also, this is a comment from Davy J. Madigan. The tone just makes you sit back and relax, forgetting the Christmas rush and stress around the moment. This is what Christmas is about. Well wow. said, Dave Amen. J. Madigan. Wow. Dave J. Madigan, so, you got it. So, let, Nailed it. so let's continue the vibe. Here's about how about another classic that's on the site. This is the Christmas song. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I know. It's Emily and I were talking about the titles. We were like, mm -hmm. the Christmas, Christmas, this. Have yourself like all the songs. Which <laughs> one's which? Chestnut one. This theme. is the one we know from. <laughs> Nat King Cole is your clue yeah. here for this one for, yeah. for the Christmas song. Mm. Um, so we remember all these songs. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just nuts roasting on an open fire. Yeah. Jack Frost snipping at your nose. You tight girls being sung. By a choir and folks dressed up like Eskimos. Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe help to make the season With her eyes all aglow, we'll find it hard to sleep tonight. Ah. Santa's on his way. He's loaded lots of 
toys and goodies on a sleigh. Mother's child is gonna spy. Nice little blues lick ending there. That caught me off guard, Molly. Yeah. Very <laughs> clever. <laughs> so much very, very clever. Clever. <laughs> That was wonderful. You know, watching you, especially during the solo, the way you guys are kind of catching each other for downstairs, it was like two friends trying to keep each other from falling in the, in, on the ice. Just the way you're gonna hold on, I got you. I got you over here. No, I got you. Whoa, whoa. a lot of that. Going on. <laughs> no, it was great. Really it was if you haven't noticed. <laughs> it was great. It's very expressive. I thought it was fantastic. We have more questions. Dig this okay. one. D Dylan, this one's for you. Hmm. Scott yeah. Fulgeman on YouTube is asking, if you only have 20 minutes to practice per setting, what what would what's the best what's the best regime? Regimen, oh, yes. probably is, hey, is the Scott. word. <laughs> regime. Yeah, re I like regime. Regime. Yeah, regime is regime. good, yeah. Well, uh, practice with an yes. assist. That's a great yeah. question, Scott. You know, I think this is a great spot. If you're on Fender Play and you're on Path, that's going to really help you direct kind of the timing of your practice. I'll also, I, I don't know, I, I don't want to speak for everybody, but generally I would like warm up and then I would work on material and then I would sort of do something fun at the end. So something that's kind of metabolically tasking to your brain in the middle, that way you have some focus and then at the end you get a little payoff. So that's yeah. It. Okay, so warm up with some chords and scales. Yeah. Work on the material at hand and then yeah. and then end with something fun. Even if it's that just you already know how to do. 
Yeah. Did you already right. know how to do. End on a yeah. high note. That's a good one. He, uh, uh, Scott is also asking, where can we buy Molly and Emily's holiday record? Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. We're making it right now yep. in 2022. <laughs> it's going to be ready. It's not going to be this live performance, but we win. <laughs> Available nice. on eight tracks and cassettes. We're gonna, yeah. And if you have song <laughs> song requests, you know? I think these these ones we're playing today will definitely yeah. be on the, the holiday record. Yeah, we just decided to make it right now, so it's <laughs> it's really in the incubation stage. So just hit us with the hit us with the requests. You know. There you go. And that's your answer there, Scott. Also related to the earlier question, Eduardo Stefan asks, "Do you oh do you guys have any sort of warm up routine?" Uh, Emily, Molly. Yeah, it's such a good question, and I love Dylan's answer too. Mm -hmm. um, I do like what my if I have like a good practice day I warm up I just like pick my instrument up and become one with it and then I do some like warm up technique exercises stuff because over the last couple of years I've really realized how important it is to warm up and I also really mm. like to sight read and I know it sounds weird and nerdy but um I find that even just like five minutes of reading kind of gets my brain in a different zone of, of seeing the instrument in a different way and connecting with it. So even though it's, it, I've, I, yeah, I realized that a few years ago, if I like sight read for five to 20 minutes, it's like, I'm more in the zone. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I also I like to that. try to like, just actually in terms of just like stretching, like rent really gentle, like circles and stuff for my wrists and like breathing, even, even if you're not a singer, just like, just taking some deep breaths mm. and stuff like that. It's so linked me so yeah Help, helps sure. bring that that heart rate down and kind of gets sure. you it, it takes out that anxiety before you pick up the instrument i think that's that's fantastic and also this comment is coming from someone who has the handle of the adventures of one wire this <laughs> is that's the handle this is a wonderful christmas treat oh well so we're getting thank beautiful you. comments on that so thank you so much for sharing your comments now we're going to give molly and emily a little break here for one minute and we want to uh, turn our attention uh and, mom uh, and take a moment to acknowledge uh, our friend who's been with us for practically every episode this year mm. and he's no slouch on guitar Dylan Calajuri, my trusted friend and aide de camp here. And I, I want, now everybody watching, I want you to tell us in the comments your favorite Dylan moment of this year. So whether it was a performance, maybe a, maybe a vocal flub. Oh, I don't know. It's all what? a fair game. Okay. No, well, no, no I just, I'm not saying there were any Dylan. Easy. Come on. Now, and, and while, while the people are coming up with that and dropping in the comment section, Dylan, can you serenade us with a holiday song that's on Fender Play, please? I will play Sleeves of Green. Uh, green Sleeves. Green sleeves, yes. Yeah. There's vocal flub one if you're looking for, <laughs> for something. Yeah. Let snuck the spirits in. come. Ah, and you snuck in a major third there. That was very, very I did. clear. Wow. 
Oh, it was it was purposeful. Everything I did was on purpose. <laughs> I assume it was. That was beautiful. Thank you, thank you, Dylan, for that performance, and thank you for being such a um, just such a wonderful guy all, all year round. I can't do this. Thank you, you guys, you know and, and thank uh, thank both of you that are here. You guys are fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. They are. Let's get back to our guests here, and we're gonna do we're gonna stray from the site for a moment and do uh, a song that was written for folks serving overseas back in 1943. This is called mm-hmm. "I'll Be Home for Christmas." This oh, is a tremendous okay. song. So pretty, great. That was job. not what a painful. beautiful. Yeah, not at all. That was that good. Is such a such a beautiful song. Such, such that bittersweet note. We'd always get those in a lot of Christmas songs. That one's mm. that one's perfect. Thank you so much for that. Um, now I, I have a question for you, ladies. Now, what advice would you give to players who? Because clearly you've adapted that towards your your personal styles. That that song there, and all the songs we've heard today. So, what's your advice for someone who wants to take one of these holiday classics and kind of bend it towards their style, the way that you, you guys have? Think of a song you like and maybe even just like play that groove. And it, it, especially like some of these songs have a lot of chords and you can always simplify the chords as one, but maybe just like play one chord on the groove and, and start feeling it. Cause I feel yeah. like so much of it is feeling it. And once you feel it and you hear it in your head, it's easier to put it on your guitar. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So, so start with rhythm. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Great call yeah. because the melody is probably going to be the melody. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. And like, but, both of us, like we, we, came together and we were able to like bring different ideas and maybe you know there's a million versions of these tunes like checking out some of those and then and then just like maybe i don't know getting kind of funky with it and imagining what kind of groove would sound fun behind it because it's just it's all good spirited stuff so yeah yeah Yeah. like i when i when i think of arrangements sometimes like maybe i'm playing i'll be home for christmas but like like 
uh, Jacob Collier song is my inspiration. Mm-hmm. Like I love an intro. Mm. I'm like, oh, that's cool. What if I like somehow merge it? So I think it could kind of come from whatever you're feeling. That's the fun thing about music and these songs is they're just a platform to do whatever you want with them. Yeah, for sure. Good call. Uh, many people are asking, where did Dylan get his sweater? Oh, wow. <laughs> we knew this was coming. Dylan, this, this sweater. Thank you guys for asking, and and just for in general uh, being wonderful <laughs> audience. That's for sure. But this sweater is coveted. I mean, it's this. I'll, I'm warm. Yeah. I don't know if this is. Is this lanolin? What is this made out of? <laughs> Sheep's wool. <laughs> it's, it's lovely. I, I'm sure it's on the Fender site though, and it's still there. And I bet if you order it really soon, you could probably get it before Christmas. Available on Fender.com. All right. And also, Al Brown asks, uh, do either of you ever use the uh, tremolo bar? Or I guess vibrato bar is the more proper term there, I guess. I don't use it that much. I don't know why. You know, it's like I'm such a person of habit. And I, Emily, actually, she did a master class at my college the other mm-hmm. day. And she said she's like, "Was it, didn't you say you're like, just these standard tuning? Oh, it's like you can spend all day and no gadgets, you know? <laughs> And I kind of get stuck in that zone, but on occasion I'll use it, but so infrequently. Do, yeah. do you use it? No, same here. I mean, I'm always just like, oh, there's so many cool things I would love to spend time with, but I literally just never run out of things to explore yeah. <laughs> like just right here. Um, I think, yeah, I also don't have a lot of guitars that have tremolo bars in them right now, but gotcha. I mean, yeah, I love I a lot of players know. that use them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're used beautifully by, by, by many players of different styles. Jeff Beck uses it really vocally. Oh, yeah. I've heard other guys use them in the real traditional sense and, and emulate uh, lap steel uh, chord movement. So, yeah. yeah. You know, this, and then there's the dive bomb world and all that sort of cool stuff. Uh, anyway, so, um, no, uh, yeah, have fun with them. Find one. If, if we need to set you up, Emily, we'll send you some. Uh, and Scott, <laughs> Scott Williams says, I know this is about the guitars, but Emily's vocals are perfect for these classics. Oh, right. it's very well, kind. Thank you. I know. Emily, yeah, I agree. Holiday record. I'm down. <laughs> yeah. Do I think Scott Fogelman will be the producer from my understanding. All right, let's go, yeah, Scott. he's making the calls. How about one more song for the holiday that happens around this time? This song uh, makes me crave champagne and charging triple and charging triple rate. This is all playing <laughs> sign. <laughs> for- <laughs> I know. <laughs> Funky, funky, funky. It's it started with a groove. It started with a groove, Molly. Just like you said. I mean, I know. Hope it ended with one. We're not all Dr. Molly Miller, you know. Yeah. (laughs) 
<laughs> Doctor of Groove. Now, everyone, stick around. We, now, stick around until after the giveaway, everyone, because we still have one more performance uh, from Emily and Molly, and and it's it's a good one. In fact, it's my favorite holiday melody of of them all. So please mm-hmm. stick around. But now we're going to move on to the homework. So, so Dr. Dylan, please assign some homework. Indubitably, yes. Uh, well, happy holidays to everyone. It's we are so lucky to have these two here this week. It's this is this is a treat indeed. Uh, so if you're a beginner, uh, this may be intimidating, right? Hearing all of these absolutely fabulous guitar riffs and singing and whatnot. But this, these songs are accessible to you. Check out the site. Five minutes each day over the holiday break. Just do some playing. Give it five minutes. You'd be amazed what you could do with five minutes of focus playing. Intermediate guys, guys and gals, learn the chords to have yourself a merry little Christmas and you know, kind of mess around with them a little bit. But learning just through those chords, there's quite a few chords in that song. It's going to be a challenge unto itself. And if you're advanced, adapt a song from the holiday collection on play to your favorite genre. Now, mine, of course, would be sort of a, a Charo inspired okay. something with. Yeah. But, so <laughs> Coochie wherever, Coo, for sure. Yeah. Wherever yeah. you want to go with it, wherever you want to go. So, you know. <laughs> Now, she's a great flamenco guitar player, so that is an, that's an she's absolute really challenge, man. Yeah, that's she's no joke. Uh, yeah. uh, that is funny. So um, now let's get to some vendor play updates, okay, Dylan? So, so uh, it's time for and before we get to the gift giving, right? Right. Well, you know what? Uh, so basically, uh, oh, we're going to updates first. You know what? I think I'll oh, do the vendor play segment first, just just for for giggles. Okay. So each week we give away a free piece of gear to a lucky Fender Play subscriber simply for practicing seven minutes three times a week. So that's all you got to do and you're automatically entered to win. Of course, you got to belong to Fender Play too. Now it's a great time to join. And you get to pick from a list of strats, guitars, basses, amplifiers, all kinds of stuff. And you have that selection delivered right to your door, all just for practicing. So do you guys, I get to be Santa Claus. Do you that's guys right. want to know who won this week? Please, yeah. Santa Dylan, do so. Can give me a holiday inspired... <laughs> Mike F, you've won the last Fender Play segment contest, Fender Play giveaway of the year. Yeah. Congratulations, Mike F. Congratulations. Enjoy your bass, guitar, amp, ukulele. Gosh. Whatever it is you choose, man. It's it's your world. Uh, now, uh, also, man. now, I'm sorry, I went out of order. Now it's time for... It's it's time for the Fender Play updates. And That's right. And I'm happy to report to you guys that they everything that we've played on the show is on the site. So you can learn all these songs. You can learn them uh, and, at, and an accessibility that's available to you. So uh, don't be afraid to really... I think if you're new, don't be afraid to play in front of your family and friends over the break. And uh, I enjoy annoying my family and friends by playing <laughs> Christmas songs. Um, <laughs> So, you know, maybe tap into that, whatever angle you want to go, but have yeah. fun, really give them a shot. They're, they're really awesome material to work with. So cool. All right. So we have the holiday collection up there. You know, Dylan, we were talking earlier this week, mm-hmm. these songs, of course, uh, Emily and Molly have these beautiful advanced chord work going on them. And there's, you know, we hear seventh chords and accidentals yeah. and all that sort of stuff. Right. But on the site, they're uh, slightly simplified. Of course, they've 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 jazzed it up and they've adapted it to their own style. So don't be exactly. don't be intimidated. We've got something for beginners. We've got the basic chords there, and then once you get the basic chords, then you can run away. You can as our out. guests have. Now let's hear one more quick song from the yes, site uh, to take us into next year. This "Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas" was written actually for Judy Garland, the movie uh, "Meet Me in St. Louis." Mm-hmm. So, um, ladies, please take it away. Emily. Have yourself a merry little Christmas Let your heart be light From now on our troubles will be out yourself a merry little Christmas Make the yuletide gay
Thank you so much. That's perfect. That's a perfect cap right there. Uh, that's beautiful. I never tire of that song. What beautiful vocals. Uh, yeah, wow. Just that was wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you yeah. so much for spending time with us, sharing your talents. You too, Dylan. All three of you. I'm so lucky. We're, thank you. We're, we're lucky here at Fender to have access to, to such talent. So thank you so much. For, thank you, Eugene. For the same to you, guy. sir. Ah, just a guy, just a kid trying to make a buck here. Okay. Now, <laughs> Molly, Molly and Emily, what do, what do you guys have coming up? Plug away, please. Well, uh, what do I, I'm going out on tour with my brother who I've done Fender play with. Before. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I'm working on a new record, but my old record yeah. just came out. So you can check out Molly Miller trio. And then, yeah, I'm going out with JMO from the Almond brothers and my brother's. Wow. Band. So it's a lot of brothers. Yeah. <laughs> Almond brothers. So brothers. My brother, Sammy will be oh, out fantastic. there. Yeah. Cool. And Molly Miller trio record. Molly Miller trio record. You can check gotcha. that out too. So that's pretty much and what I'll be up to is just listening to the Molly Miller Trio record. But oh, got come a big on. tour coming up. I suppose. With um, whom? I well I'm I'm finishing up a solo record right now, which is not actually solo. It's with a bunch of really great players, but um doing that and then hitting the road with Jacob Collier for a while at the, the start of the year. Good, good, good. Well, maybe I'll That'll see you guys fun. up the road. Yeah, it Excellent. will be fun. I, I, I'm so happy to have met you, and thank you so much. It's a pleasure to hear you. Uh, and I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Again, thank you for a great year. We'll be back in two weeks. So we're going to take a two-week break. We'll be back, I believe, January 5th is the date of the next show. Uh, and in the meantime, please be kind to yourself, be kinder to others, uh, keep safe, keep practicing, and we'll see you next time. Let's all go out on a big G chord, the last one of the year, or type a capital G in the comment section on the count of four. One, two, three, four.